The, re the reason I want to get that and that's specific to their needs is that way we tell the people back in the U.S. at our church and other people that we'll talk to to try and tell them about Endevia and, and what they've done here and what they're trying to do. Um, it will help them to have a picture in their head of, of what's going to happen with the money. It comes over here and they know that they're going to work to buy plows and they're going to work to fix latrines and it's, that's something that people want to do. They want to, they want to help. And, and, and so this kind of shows them how they can and what they're doing. And I said, my lady, to a Kiludi Jubani, when I say how what and how what when I was on a bit of what I was saying. I haven't seen this anywhere. Yeah, it's an original piece. Called but I'm not going to pay 2000 for it. I am the case. As part of the fundraising, I now do buying trips. That's the main reason I come to Nairobi, uh, where I buy a lot of stuff here uh, at retail price here, <laughs> uh, jewelry, cloth, things like that. And I take it back to the U.S. and I sell four times a year in the U.S. No, and the profits to. from that, um, those sales come back to Kenya to fund the water projects at Kathanzweni, not wholly, but a lot of it, um, and a couple of other things I've been involved in. So you talk to her about it. She's the expert. <laughs> I'm in big trouble. You are. Believe me, you're in trouble. Now I think I'm finished here, and she's going to bargain with you, not me. <laughs> oh, please, Professor, I wish I was doing with you. Jane has been essential because she comes with me to the main market where I buy and she drives a hard bargain because every time they see a, a Mzungu, a European, they hike up the prices by about five times. So you need to have someone to help you bargain, right? And, and the last time, I think you have it uh, on film, the last time we were there and I had a guy who'd been trying to get me to pay for stuff at another market and he showed up at the Maasai market where we were filming here also. And he was like, his face lit up. He thought he was gonna sell me a whole bunch of stuff for a highly hiked price, and then I picked out what I wanted. I left Jane to do the bargaining, which is what you caught on film. <laughs> and, and his face fell. <laughs> I could see it. Because then she's like, hmm, you know, she does. She taught me a lot of, about bargaining, actually. And she got a lot better price than I would have gotten. I'm not as hard nosed as Jane is. So, with plows being the main priority for the Endethia group as they express themselves, on our way out of Kathwanzeni, we stopped at a local store to go ahead and price out um, some good quality pr plows in order to, to get an idea of how far the money we had raised would go and also to give us a target to define you know, how much money we could possibly raise in the future to help them meet the goals that they'd set for themselves. So, what so can I do for you? How much would a one plow cost? We're trying to figure out. 6,500. 6,500 shillings. Yes. Is that With something? With a bargain or... Yeah, I like bargaining. No, no, no. That's fixed. It's fixed? Yeah. Why don't you make it six? Because we are going to buy as many as we can, over 20. But three, three. Yeah. The group is sure. of 42 people and we want to buy them about 21. 21. So at least you can consider the quantity. So it seems to be a very successful project. They're very energetic. They like to dance and work and sing and do everything and have a good time while they're doing it. It's really inspiring. These people are extremely poor, but they don't let it get them down. I'm not sure they would see themselves as being poor. I don't know. It's an interesting question.